Wolfgang, I would like to ask you the questions about your dreams. So when you were oh. there, are, <laughs> so now at first let us go to your dreams. When you were a child, uh, what dreams did you have about your future? Oh, oh, that's that I can actually answer relatively easily. Uh, well, uh, growing up in Germany in the 50s was, I think, for many young children, not without its problems. You know, the war was over, there was um, uh, concerns about what the German people did during the World War II. The teachers were in many ways frustrated, uh, maybe because of their past, but also if they were young teachers because they have lost, they lost years. So it wasn't a particularly happy time at school. And I remember vividly that in the late 50s, many of my fellow uh, high school students uh, had that dream about spending a year in America. You know, and, and I was one of those uh, youngsters who, who uh, just by hook or by crook <laughs> uh, wanted to go to the United States for a year. And uh, I applied, uh, the, one of the ways to get to America for a year was with the so-called American Field Service. That was the major organization that made these type of uh, studies possible. And, uh, but I was a little bit too young, but fortunately I had met an American journalist uh, in Germany by chance. And uh, I wrote him a letter and I included a little passport picture and basically asked him if he could put a note in the Detroit newspaper and ask if there might be some families who would take me. And lo and behold, 12 families said, send that kid. And, and so, um, I was able uh, to fulfill my dream and in a roundabout way, it was my fortune that I did not come with an exchange program because I would have had to return after one year. <laughs> and being at an impressionable age, I left when I was 16. Uh, I fell in love with this country. It, it, uh, you know, I wanted to have my own start. I wanted to stand on my own two feet. And I believed in America being the land of unlimited opportunities, you know, young as I was. So, and I felt so very good to be in an American high school. I, 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 I had wonderful teachers. All of a sudden I wasn't as stupid as I've always been told. And so, <laughs> I started begging my parents to please let me stay, which of course was very difficult, but uh, eventually they gave in. And I still remember on my 17th birthday, uh, February 17, 1961, I received a telegram. You know, at that time you didn't necessarily call. I have your iPhone <laughs> or your Zoom or Skype. I got a telegram. And all that the telegram said, do darfs bleiben, you are allowed to stay. And that was, oh. course, that was the fulfillment of my dream. So, so, so I stayed and I didn't go home for four years actually. So between the ages of 16 and 20, uh, I was alone in America. It was hard for my parents and my sister, not so hard for me, I have to be honest because I was doing what I wanted to do, you know. But uh, anyhow, we, we had all kinds of wonderful arrangements. Uh, I uh, agreed with my parents that I would write a letter every Sunday, which I'm doing. Real by, by, by mere chance, and I think I have it right here. Let me show you. Uh, this is really by chance. It has nothing to do with the interview. Look at this. Here's a letter. Can you see that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here's a handwritten letter of, of October 7, 1961. Uh, I wrote to my parents. And what I'm doing is, every day, I have, you know, for over 30 years, I have a letter a week. So what I'm doing is some of the, some of the early letters between 60 and 63, let's just say, 
are getting so brittle and and i used kind of airmail paper you know that very thin paper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what i'm doing it is i'm kind of transcribing them into the computer and that's so whenever i have a minute when i say well i've worked enough why don't you take a break i type i retype one of the letters and it kind of brings back some nice memories uh, you know i think you know this anna i i moved from family to family and then it didn't take long uh, first i stayed with the journalist for a month then i lived with a wonderful young couple ted and sharon scott they were newly they were newlyweds but they took me in <laughs> the three of us would go with the car to the drive-in movie theater at night it was just like four oh. teenagers but anyhow i i wound up in a in a in a funeral home and uh so when I read the letters, you know, I describe how we would go on ambulance calls and how we would pick up uh, uh, people who died in an accident and then also the dead people, of course, you know, in the funeral home. So I had all those experiences, but it was all, it has all been worthwhile. But, and and as you, since you asked about my dream, Anna, that was my dream. And, and so I have always considered myself very fortunate that as a modern immigrant, uh, that I could fulfill that dream without my dear parents force, forcing me to come back. Because except for one of my uncles, to whom I'm forever grateful, everybody, teachers, friends, all told my parents, bring the boy home. Mm -hmm. So it was a tough decision, but, uh, uh, and you know, you have to give credit where credit is due. So I'm, I am very, very thankful for not only for my parents and my sister for letting me do this, but also to, well, all the people who helped me, Anna, you know, we don't get and we don't succeed without help from others. You know, I don't care how hard you work, you still uh, rely on other people's goodwill. So uh, it, uh, but to maybe one more thing, Anna, I, I want to give some credit to my American teachers. Um, you know, for a long time, there was that European vision, also in Germany particularly, of thinking that American high schools are no good. You know, they're not, they don't quite have the standard of the gymnasium in Germany. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the American high school, that is of course basically for everybody, as you know, without differentiation, how smart you are and so on. Uh, I I thrive there, Anna. Just the idea of a teacher being kind and in showing interest and challenging you and 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 uh, giving you a chance uh, made a giant difference. I have absolutely fantastic memories of of those teachers. Know them by name. Think about them, and. Uh, they helped to make me what I became. There's, there's no doubt about it. 